Christina Robertson with Moksha's Green Tip of the Month, which is all about greenifying your kitchen from top to bottom. Let's go. Modern day soap is generally made from petroleum. And to break that down a bit, they usually take petrochemical waste product and mix it with benzene, which as a side note, happens to be carcinogenic. And when all that settles, it creates a compound that can be made for soap and detergent. And I don't know about you, but after that description, it's kind of the last thing that I would choose to wash the dishes that I eat off of and wash my hands with. Renee, the host of Fine Living's It's Easy Being Green, put it in a great way. She said, it seems odd that we use the same thing to fuel our cars and make plastics as we do to wash dishes. The good news? is that biodegradable soap can come to the rescue. It'll keep you healthy and it'll keep our waterways clean. And if you kind of feel lost as where to turn, check out the following list for great choices in green biodegradable liquid dish soap. And for automatic dishwashers, look no further than these great brands. And when talking about automatic dishwashers, there's a few great tips that can save a lot of energy and a lot of water. One of the most important things that you can do with the dishwasher is to never run a dishwasher half full. Try to really pack it in there, kind of think of it like a game of Tetris. Try to get as many dishes in one load as you can. Next up is detergent. Once you've found your biodegradable detergent, make sure you don't overdo it. Generally, you only need with new brands one tablespoon and with older brands, about two tablespoons. Another great tip is add one tablespoon of baking soda to your detergent for really dirty dishes. Just make sure you don't put it in with aluminum pots as it may discolor it a bit. A green and clean idea for rinse aid is actually just using white distilled vinegar. It will make your dishes sparkle like those wonderful ads on TV. Oh. Newer dishwashers are quite energy efficient if you choose the right cycle. If you can, choose the eco option. Heated drying is unnecessary and also uses a lot of energy. So a better option is just crack your dishwasher open a bit and let them air dry. Your mother probably taught you to clean behind your ears, but did she teach you the ABCs of green dishwashing? Just in case she didn't, we're gonna go through those today. First up in hand washing is scraper dish. When you scrape your dish nice and clean, you'll allow the water that you're working with to go a lot further. Remember that 70% of our household waste and our yard waste can actually be composted. So if you can, get those scrapings in the compost. What you want to avoid is running the water as you wash the dishes. So put all your dishes in one sink, fill it with water, and wash them all at the same time. To make the water that you're using last longer, try to wash the dishes that are cleanest. So start with your wine glasses and your cups and mugs and then go to the dishes and try to leave the really dirty dishes till the end, like your pots and pans. Once you wash all your dishes, then try to rinse them all at the same time. It saves a lot of water. And if your dishes are really, really dirty, instead of using extra soap and extra water, just throw them in the sink and let them soak a bit. One of the greenest choices that you can make in your kitchen is choosing the right appliances. If you can choose Energy Star appliances, it will save you a lot of money and it will save the planet a lot of energy. In 2005, $12 million was saved by Americans using Energy Star appliances. And that's the energy equivalent of taking 23 million cars off the road. A great way to save energy while boiling water is one, choose a kettle, or two, when heating something, always make sure that you put a lid on it. Also, make sure you choose the right burner. So if you're heating just a small surface, no need to turn on the big burner on your stove. Put it on the smaller one, saves a lot of energy. Preheating is kind of prehistoric, so save a lot of energy and throw the stuff in right away, unless you're doing something very delicate like a souffle. By opening your oven door to check on what's cooking, it lowers the temperature of your oven by 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So to save energy and keep your stove at an even temperature, keep the door closed and check it out with the light. Even your morning pick-me-up can make a difference. So if you're choosing 
to make a cup of coffee in the morning, try unbleached coffee filters. If you're trying to heat something small, try to use a toaster oven. And if you're just doing a piece of bread or something like that, try to use a toaster. It'll save a lot of energy and a lot of time. Most of us have one or even two cutting boards in our kitchen. Even they count on the green unit. When choosing a cutting board, try to choose a cutting board that will stand the test of time. And also try to choose one made from a sustainable material like bamboo. Try to stay away from plastic cutting boards. Plastic tends to wear down, and eventually when they wear down, where do you put them? In the garbage, they end up in landfills, and they will never break down. Try to use glass or ceramic containers instead of plastic ones. Plastic ones are made with petroleum, and generally they break down, and you'll have to replace them. Glass containers last a lifetime. The kitchen actually produces more waste than any other room in the household. And a big part of that is packaging of our food. So when you go to the grocery store, try to choose the brands that are the least packaged. And when you get things like vegetables, don't put them in a bag. And remember, bring your reusable bags. Even your spices can make a difference in greening your kitchen. So when you choose your spices, try to use organic spices. And as well, buy in bulk and keep refilling the same containers. And that was Moksha's green tip of the month, greenifying your kitchen. Hopefully those tips can make a difference. Tell your friends, and we'll see you next month. Bye.